If you're a big fan of the NBA, you know how exhilarating it is to beat the buzzer and take that one last winning shot. Everyone inside the arena has experienced that lip-biting, breath-holding, and anxiousness that comes with your favorite team finally scoring that one last shot as if in slow motion. And when they do pull that winning shot, the crowd starts going wild. The intensity of the National Basketball Association playoffs is completely different from that to the regular season. And because every possession of every game is so important, there is nothing more exciting than watching a game-winning shot that is made in the final seconds of the postseason. Not only have these buzzer beaters produced unforgettable moments that fans will never forget, but they have also been instrumental in the development of many players' careers in the NBA. There have been many memorable moments throughout the history of the NBA playoffs, including Jordan's shot over Ello, Robert Horry's victory over the Kings, and Jerry West's game-tying shot from 60 feet out. The ranking is determined by a number of different aspects, including the significance of the game, the level of difficulty presented by the shot, and whether or not it resulted in a game-winning or game-tying basket. Which of these buzzer-beating baskets during the NBA playoffs do you think is the best? Number 20. Rick Smith, 1995 Indiana Pacers vs. Orlando Magic Rick Smith made his most memorable shot ever in the 1995 Eastern Conference Finals. Smith received the inbound pass while everyone was expecting Reggie Miller to get it. He then executed a fantastic pump fake before sinking the game-winning jumper, giving the Pacers a 94-93 victory. Number 19. Ron Artest 2010 matchup with the Lakers and the Suns the 2010 Western Conference Finals Game 5 was deadlocked, so the Lakers had to give the ball to Kobe Bryant. Bryant did get it, but he was pressed into taking a difficult shot, and the Lakers' Ron Artest, now known as Meta World Peace, was waiting below the basket, ready to spin and throw up the game-winning shot. Number 18. In 2006, Kevin Martin, Sacramento Kings vs. San Antonio Spurs The Sacramento Kings were fighting for their postseason lives in the 2006 NBA playoffs, down 2 to nothing to the San Antonio Spurs in Game 2 of the first round and down 1 in the dying seconds of Game 3. The Kings took advantage of a last attempt steal and fast break, with Mike Bibby setting up Kevin Martin for the game-winning shot over Tim Duncan. Number 17. Eddie Johnson, 1997 Playoffs, Houston Rockets vs. Utah Jazz With six seconds remaining, the Houston Rockets and the Utah Jazz were tied at 92 in Game 4 of the Western Conference Finals. Clyde Drexler, who was being double-teamed, passed to Eddie Johnson, who with less than a second remaining, fired up an unstoppable shot from the top of the three-point line. 16. LeBron James 2009 matchup Cleveland Cavaliers vs. Orlando Magic The Cavaliers needed a little magic of their own when they were down 95-93 and 1-0 to, to the Orlando Magic during the Eastern Conference Finals. LeBron James, fortunately, came to the rescue by taking the inbounds pass with a second left and turning to unleash the game-winning three-pointer. This was considered by many to be one of LeBron's earliest career playoff highlights. Number 15. Vinnie Johnson 1990 Playoffs Detroit Pistons vs. Portland Trailblazers 
because everyone in the arena expected the Pistons to pass the ball to Isaiah Thomas in an attempt to seal the deal in Game 7 of the NBA Finals. This was one of the most shocking buzzer beaters in postseason history. When Thomas couldn't get off a shot, he found Vinny the Microwave Johnson and Vinny got himself open for an off-balance jumper that helped the Pistons win their second straight NBA championship. 14. Alonzo Mourning, 1993 Charlotte Hornets vs. Boston Celtics Game 5 of the Eastern Conference first round in the 1993 playoffs, Alonzo Mourning, then a rookie, scored a buzzer-beating shot against the Boston Celtics. At the top of the key, Alonzo caught the ball, dribbled once, then stepped back for the game-winning shot, advancing the Hornets to the next round of the playoffs. Number 13. Kobe Bryant 2006 matchup with the Phoenix Suns The name Kobe Bryant would have to be included on any list of game-winning moments. In overtime of Game 4 of the 2006 Western Conference first round, Kobe received a tip pass off a jump ball from Walton, dribbled to the elbow, and sank the ball to give the LA Lakers a 99-98 victory over the Phoenix Suns. 12. Derek Fisher The 2004 NBA Playoffs Los Angeles Lakers vs. the San Antonio Spurs When the series was deadlocked at two games apiece, this game took on an added significance since the victor would assume command of the series. The game is tied at 75 with 0.4 seconds left. The ball was inbounded to Fisher, who then hit the game-winning jumper over Duncan's outstretched arms. The Lakers won the series and the NBA championship that year. Number 11. Jerry West 1970 matchup Los Angeles Lakers vs New York Knicks If there were an award for hardest shots, this one would be it. After the Lakers fell behind by two points in Game 7 of the 1970 NBA Finals, Jerry West drained a 60-footer to force overtime. Had there been a three-point line in 1970, this shot would have won the game and not tied it. Number 10. John Stockton 1997 matchup Utah Jazz vs Houston Rockets The Jazz advanced to the NBA Finals thanks to John Stockton's game-winning three-pointer in the deciding Game 6 of the 1997 Western Conference Finals. This was one of the most significant plays in John Stockton's legendary career. Number 9. Robert Horry 2002 Los Angeles Lakers vs Sacramento Kings One of the most clutch players in NBA history, Robert Horry was known as Big Shot Rob for his ability to come up big in the game. The LA Lakers were down 2-1 in the series against the Sacramento Kings. Instead, the ball went into the waiting hands of Horry, who was stationed at the top of the key and sank the three-point shot to win Game 4. Number 8. Ralph Sampson The 1986 matchup Houston Rockets vs the Los Angeles Lakers Ralph Sampson's prayer was answered as he put up a shot over Kareem Abdul-Jabbar without even looking at the basket and won the Western Conference Finals for his team. It took a couple of ricochets off the hoop's edge before the shot went in, but that was only part of the dramatic buildup. Number 7. Glenn Davis 2009 Boston Celtics vs Orlando Magic during the fourth game of the Eastern Conference semifinals, the Magic held a one-point lead against the Boston Celtics with 11 seconds left. Then, with no time left on the clock, the unlikeliest of heroes, Glenn Davis, took a pass from Paul Pierce and sank a baseline jumper to even the series at two apiece. Number 6. Gar Hurd 1976 NBA Finals Phoenix Suns vs Boston Celtics the name given to this event is the shot heard around the world. The third overtime was necessary after Gar Hurd scored on an elbow jumper. Despite the Suns' final loss, this shot still makes the cut because of the historic nature of the game it occurred in and its place in NBA history. Number 5. Chauncey Billups 
2004 NBA Playoffs, Detroit Pistons vs. New Jersey Nets. Since childhood, Chauncey Billups had a certain touch when it came to making game-winning shots, earning him the moniker Mr. Big Shot. When the Pistons trailed the Nets 88-85 in the 2004 Eastern Conference Semifinals, Billups received the inbound pass, sprinted up court, pulled up just inside half court, and banked in the game-tying three-pointer to send the game to overtime. The Pistons lost the game ultimately, but won the series in seven games. Number 4. Damian Lillard, 2019, Oklahoma City Thunder vs. the Portland Trail Blazers The Portland Trail Blazers and the Oklahoma City Thunder went into overtime, locked at 115 points apiece in Game 5 of the first round. After scoring 47 points, the Trail Blazers were down to their final possession, and Thunder star Paul George was guarding Damian Lillard. With the shot clock running down, Lillard won the game and the series with a long-range three-pointer from 37 feet out. Number 3. Kawhi Leonard, 2019, the Toronto Raptors vs. Philadelphia 76ers. With 4.2 seconds remaining and the score tied at 90 in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals, Kawhi Leonard of the Toronto Raptors received an inbound pass. Leonard, despite being defended by Philadelphia 76ers big players Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, threw up a shot at the buzzer. One of the greatest Game 7 buzzer beaters of all time went in after bouncing off the rim four times. Number 2. Basketball Legend Michael Jordan 1989 matchup Chicago Bulls vs. the Cleveland Cavaliers Michael Jordan's buzzer-beating basket over Craig Illo in the 1989 playoffs advanced the Bulls to the second round of the playoffs and is widely considered one of the greatest playoff moments of all time. Despite the Bulls' inability to win the title that year, Michael Jordan's legendary career will always be known for that shot. Number 1. Once again, it's the basketball legend Michael Jordan. 1997 NBA Finals, Chicago Bulls vs. Utah Jazz Even though it wasn't quite a buzzer-beating shot, this one was near enough and significant to top our list. In what many thought would be his final game, Michael Jordan delivered his adoring fans an unforgettable moment. With a crossover and maybe a little push off Byron Russell, Jordan was able to shoot the game-winning shot that would give him his sixth and last championship. NBA fans will never forget the moment Jordan held his follow-through as the ball went over the net. Do you agree with our list? If you think we're missing your favorite NBA player, then let us know about it in the comments section below.